Hello everyone, this video will cover the new daily quests on Belsavis in section X. It will be on the Republic side only, because the Empire side is a little bugged right now. So there you go. The first quest here is called Imminent Threat. You need to take down these Gamorians and destroy their weapon caches. It's a rather easy quest. There are a bunch of them here, a lot of weapon caches too, so nothing too hard. Eat lightsaber jerk. Now the second one is located in this red area over here. It's called Bio Reform, and obviously there are these emitters here which cause the nearby creatures to mutate, and we have to destroy them. There's a bonus quest here to kill these claw slugs, which reminds me, uh, I once saw an interview with the voice actress of Vet from the Sith Warrior story, and they asked her what a claw slug is, and she couldn't explain it. Anyway, I believe I'm about to die here, or nearly die. Yeah, 1%, uh, 0% HP. Okay, so the third quest is in this area here. It's very close to the HK quests. And you have to be careful when you do it because there are most likely going to be a lot of enemies, like enemy players in this area. So for the quest itself, you need to, as a bonus, you need to kill all the droids here. And for the main quest, you need to loot them and look for their cores and then use them on a the security terminal. There's the core. And here's where the terminal is. If you notice the map was actually bugged, that is the only quest that showed up on it. When you activate the terminal, there will be a miniboss and you may need another person to help you with it. Alright, we're done in here. Moving on to the next quest. It's located right here in block 53, I believe is what it's called. The name of the quest is Priority Containment, and we basically need to secure this facility filled with Dreadmaster's forces. The bonus quest is to kill a bunch of them, 20. And the main one is to do all kind of all kinds of security things like activating these turrets or activating cameras. So the turrets, the cameras, and the third thing is these stasis chambers that we need to that we need to secure. You gotta be careful with these mobs. There are mixture of operative and sniper I guess they have this cover screen and they can heal alright so there's the control panel for the stasis chamber and when you do all these things you need to get into the end of the facility right here and 
and destroy these mobs. Enough. When you do, all you have to do is open the door and there will be a mini boss there that you need to kill and the quest is done. Be careful, he's rather nasty, even though he's just an elite mob. Okay, we're done in here. Now the next quest, it's not too far away from here. Right there on the map. We need to get into this ancient prison area. Watch with the elevator here. The first thing we need to do is collect data from these two nodes. On the first level, there are two levels of this prison. There is also a long bonus quest consisting of three or four parts. The first one is to loot certain items from these mobs all around here. I was pretty lucky here, they don't usually drop that much. Lightsaber jerk. There's the first computer for the main quest. And there's a second bonus quest. It is to collect data from these little um, astromechs. There's a second computer. And the third part of the bonus is right next to it. In this area, we need to defeat these released Sith Lords. Here they are. After we defeat the Sith Lords, we need to go to the upper level and the second room first. There we complete the final part of the bonus by killing this droid here. Goes pretty quickly because I teamed up with the Gunslinger. And there it is, the bonus quest is done, and so is the next stage of the main quest right here. And for the last stage we need to go to the first room, the one closest to the elevator. And there basically click all the computers we can and destroy all the security that comes to stop us. And we're done. This prison is secured. Alright, we're at the last quest. It's called Long Shots, and it's a four man quest right here on the lower right of the map. My group has already started, but I joined them. So the quest is not that hard. You can do it without a tank if you have a good gear DPSers. There aren't any hard hitting mobs or bosses. There are healers, however, so you should interrupt and probably CC. There's an interesting loot here. Uh, these boots are very useful for alts. Unfortunately I don't win them, so too bad. Another interesting thing are these force fields that you need to activate and you have to work together in order to pass them. One person have to hold it and the other have to pass and then hold it himself and so on. Now you gotta be careful with these blue ones because if you touch them you release these mini bosses as you can see this guy here just got released and they're pretty nasty they do these knockbacks and may cause ninja pulls 
This is the last door here that you have to open. And you reach this boss here, which is kind of cool. He has his own voice acting, even only a few lines. Try your best. Once you take him down, each of the four people should activate a console, two on the sides, one in the middle, and the fourth should click on the core in the center and destroy it. Come on, there it is. And the quest is done. At this point your weekly quest should be completed as well, and you can use that teleporter here to speed your way back. Thanks for watching and be good.